27th of March already. Three months of 2021, almost gone really. And I'm up in the wood, haven't been up this end. It could be a week, two weeks. I tend to go walk through the wood if I'm going to Sand Bay so I don't come up this end. So I think it's, it's probably a good week and a half anyway, I would say. So I'm just, I've come up these steps after walking through town and um, I've come up the steps near the big pointed church. I decided just to walk down here because I hadn't actually been down this bit for quite a long time. Could be a year. This particular short stretch which will lead me up to another set of steps called the encampment steps. I'm not going down there, I'm going to go back round, but I just wanted to cover this stretch. And as you can see, they have been busy over the winter months, despite COVID, despite lockdown, they've been hacking and chopping. Basically, they've been given permission now. With the people who disagree weren't given a voice, I'm afraid. There was no choice. There was no vote over these trees in this woodland. Um, a small group of people have taken it upon them to make these decisions without consulting the Western public at all, or the, or the nation. I mean, basically, this is important, this place, because it's a historic monument up here. It's a protected site for the hill fort which is all under here this is all the hill fort covered in they want to scratch it all away so to reveal more of the features some people just going up there so so basically I I'm just keeping a record of I won't call it progress because though it might be progress from an archaeological point of view don't forget archaeology a lot of it's destructive they destroy a lot when they do it and that's well known and if they can they don't use destructive archaeology these days they use ground penetrating radar they use lidar um, and I still don't know why they remove bones from a ground if somebody has been buried there in a special tomb why on earth are they digging them up I think that's desecration I can understand mass graves being moved in a way and, and reburied sometimes, but they're always digging people up. More people coming. I'm just going to go this way because there's a herd coming. I just let their air move. We're still under COVID conditions. There's a lot of people out. I don't normally come up here at the weekends much. I do a lot in the week. Um, but there's herds of people about herds. There's one group coming down. There'll be more. I'll have, I'll have to carry on. There's at least six, six to eight people have just come down with lively children. Let them go. Yeah, it's very difficult to um, keep the COVID under control, really. They're easing up from Monday and a lot of things. Oh, look at all this lovely stuff that's uh, natural returning the wood to the ground. <sighs> ah. Yeah, so I'm just, like I said, I'm, it's not progress in that way. I'm just seeing the progress of the destruction, if you like, and they're uh, revealing the archaeology. I mean, whether they'll find anything and let us know, who knows, or they keep it for themselves as they dig and scrape. I've already found two old bottles up here. So anyway, I've decided to come up and go from this entrance. I've avoided most of the town. Um, there's still, this isn't even the start of the unlocking yet. And there's a, always a lot of people about if the sun's out. Another reason for recording my videos is, is due to COVID. I'm sharing information. 
Um, I'm waiting a second jab and they're also talking about booster jabs now in September when you have your flu jab. <gasps> oh, something's missing. That's the first time that's gone. Everyone. I've been taking pictures of the Burnbet Pier for a long time. We've had some massive storms and the last time I was here, the shed was still there. The white shed is actually gone now. I'll just zoom in on the end there. It's actually gone now. The last time I stood here, which wasn't that long ago, well, it is still there, but it has, it's been battered massively. So it is still there, but it doesn't look anything like it did before. It won't be long now until I thought it had totally gone. It's still there. That's the steps that people used to climb to get the, this is where they boarded the steamships. They would come along that walkway or up those steps to uh, join their ship. Gradually eroding. So they won't, they say it's not worth saving anymore, you know, it's so rusted. So all you can do now is take pictures and images. That's what I do for tree things. Like, I know all the cards, books and all that will probably rot away or get put in a skip. I've seen people's stuff. Just lately there's been a lot of tidying up. Maybe people have died or they can't afford to live where they are and all their stuff has been um, put in skips all their precious photos their books everything it's really sad to see actually and I can just imagine that happened to my stuff um, so I, I, what I do I, I take pictures of things ornaments books I record stuff even like Christmas cards postcards from family. I put it all on my tree. Yeah, I put it all on my tree. Right, over and out a minute, take some pictures.